Gauss Metal Arc Welding, A-Leaf School District, CTE Welding Program. Part 3A, Metal Transfer Modes, Sounds. We're going to talk about sounds today and the distinctive sounds that each gas metal arc welding transfer mode makes. As we discussed before, there's four separate and distinct transfer modes, but one of the best ways to tell them apart and I can walk through a shop and tell the, the different modes apart just by the sounds. Each transfer mode has a distinctive sound. So we're going to listen to a little clip of short circuiting, globular transfer, spray transfer, and pulse spray transfer. And try and really pick out the difference in the sounds of these four processes. Okay, so when we're talking about gas metal arc welding modes of transfer, we're going to talk about short circuiting, we're going to talk about globular, spray, and pulse spray. Each one of these has some significant differences from the other modes of transfer. And there are some different ways on how we get to these different modes of transfer that include but are not limited to wire size, the shielding gas we use, the amount of current and voltage. You know, a lot of these, these are variables that are going to affect what our gas metal arc welding mode of transfer is. And you're going to run across this a lot when you start getting into welding codes because some of them are considered one process and short circuiting is considered its own process. We're going to start on the low end of the transfer modes with short circuiting. And then we're going to go up to globular spray and pulse spray. And as I've said before, the key of this video slash the audio contained in this video is to really listen to the sounds and recognize that there's a difference between the four transfer modes. And if you're an engineer or an inspector or, you know, out there or a out there walking the shop floor and you're like hey that doesn't sound right they're supposed to be running pulse and that doesn't sound like pulse or they're supposed to be running short circuiting and that sounds that doesn't sound right anyways it gives you just a little idea of the different sounds that each process um, kicks off and we're going to dive into it and go from there first one we're going to talk about is short circuiting transfer this process kind of has a bacon frying type of sound, I guess, is the closest thing I would could come to describing it. So give it a little go and we'll go from there. Okay, that was short circuiting transfer. Like I said, it kind of has a frying bacon sound or like you're cooking something, kind of a... I don't know. That's the closest I can come to to describing it. Next up is globular transfer. This is kind of a nasty sounding process. So if you're out there on the shop floor and you're, you walk by and you hear something similar to this, this is globular transfer. It's got a really rough sounding transfer. It just, I don't know, it just kind of hurts your ears to listen to it. That was globular transfer. It, it just sounds rough and nasty. Um, just due to the transfer mode and the large size of the droplets, globules, it just doesn't sound like anything I want to listen to for any appreciable amount of time. Next up is spray transfer. Spray transfer has like almost a hissing sound, I want to say. Kind of a <laughs> or a static, I don't know. But to me, it's like a hissing or a radio static almost type of sound.
That was spray transfer, kind of a hissing sound, real fine droplets, large fluid puddle, very little spatter. You can really lay down the metal with that welding process. Next up, we're going to have pulse spray transfer. This is kind of a buzzing sound, like a bee or like a transformer, um, like an electrical transformer. Something similar to that, almost a zzzz, I don't know. Okay, that was pulse spray transfer. You can hear the difference in that because, like I said, it's, it's a buzzing or like being next to an electrical transformer. Okay, so we covered the four distinctive sounds that are associated with each one of the transfer modes. Short circuiting sounds like frying bacon. Globular sounds kind of nasty. Spray transfer sounds almost like a hissing sound. And pulse spray transfer sounds like a buzzing of a bee or a um, standing next to a transformer, an electrical transformer, and hearing a type of sound. Anyways, just tried, wanted to throw some sound context into the four transfer modes.